These days, I don't really care for all that empty conversation. No, no. These days, I don't care for competition. You don't want this racing. Hey guys, imagine he has buyote and he should eat scam. Hmm. Yeah, running a business is not easy, especially when you're selling online. So there's this client that I sent a parcel to. I want to say on Monday, I'm on Tuesday, Apple. So she hasn't received her parcel yet. So hey, tell me why I'm waking up and I'm finding her already. Asha Nyambia, you know you are scam. Uh, it was a bag that I sold to her at twelve hundred. So she she's like. You know, kula hiyo 1200, tuwana itakufikisha. Rocha tuwana hiyo 1200, utakula siku ngapi. I think she's overreacting. Adi, I have just told her, sasa jutaenda na utapata yu mzigo yako kwa ofisi, ama you're going to get your parcel, what will you say then? You know, I feel like she's definitely overreacting because I sent her the receipt, I sent her the message um, from the uh, from the parceling service that I used, so I'm just telling her, you know, just be patient and go there, explain to them, show them the receipt and show them the message, tell them my parcel is supposed to have arrived by now. If it's not in your office here, it has to be in the office in Nairobi. So you guys have to nafa, you know, the parceling services have to follow up also. Uh, without her just saying that I'm a scam, I'm even telling her if I was a scam, I would have already blocked you. I would not even be replying to your messages. You would not even be seeing uh, like the messages that I have read and I'm replying, you know. But it's okay. I know sometimes these things usually happen. It's not even the first time these things usually happen because you know, man is to error, a mistake can happen. Even me, sometimes I usually mess up. And when I am the one who has messed up, I usually try to make it up to the client. Uh, like there's another client that I was supposed to send a couple of bags, and then I sent her like less three handbags. And she reached out and told me, you know, some bugs are missing. And then when I looked at the conversation, I realized, yeah, there are some bugs that I didn't send. And I was sending them, I think, all the way to uh, Mombasa, Ama Ukunda, to those coastal regions. So I had to send the bugs to her at no extra cost because I felt like that was actually my mistake. Because obviously she had requested me to send all, all of them and I miscalculated and I could see the mistake was actually mine and she was so understand understanding because she just told me you know these things happen uh, the fact that you know you are agreeing to your mistake is also a plus and I just know that this client is going to get her bag and she is going to be so ashamed because now you have even called me as calm you have even told me Nikule your 1200 but I've just decided that I'm not going to let that ruin my day because I've woken up today a bit early. I want to go to the shop. I have someone who wants to rent a chef, so they want to come and I explain to them how it works and see the spaces and storage space. I also have another parcel that was supposed to arrive actually yesterday and it didn't arrive. I even sent someone to go pick it up and they were told that the parcel hasn't arrived. It was being sent from... The Rakaniti, yeah, the Rakaniti, it's also someone else that wants to rent a shelf with me. So they were just sending the goods so that I can check them and uh, she can rent a shelf with me also. So I also want to go check if that one has also arrived. Yeah, so come with me, guys, and give me your experiences. Have you experienced such things? Have you experienced um, sometimes a client being difficult, I'm overreacting? And, you know, even calling you a scam. I know it's something that usually happens because I'm telling you, it's not the first time. It's not the first time that it is happening. At least I know it has happened to me quite a couple of times. And it's understandable because I know there are people out there who are actually scams and you can get scammed. But this one, I'm just telling her, you know, if I was a scam, I would have blocked you. I would not have even Step sent you a receipt. You know, I would not even have... Uh, gotten so this message from this person in service that the person has actually been booked, you know? Yeah. Everybody so let's go to the town and wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Yeah. 
Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do the after. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called mm. Guys, we have two new people that have joined us Kuna Uyu, the citizen who is selling kids' shoes Nimekai vitena, lafu nianza kusewa mgu Uyu, anaitua Kido Drifts You can go follow her on Instagram, so you know, those are kids' shoes, thrifted shoes, and they're so cute. They're so so cute, like they look brand new, but they're thrifted. Rubber shoes, Converse, easy to use our total, mostly like small, small sizes. Juanya ni mwana kubwa hapa ni kitu 32 uko 36. But let me show you some samples of the shoes. So you are to join. A little bit to join. I know I was supposed to show you guys yesterday, but I didn't because we got busy. So these are some of the shoes that she is selling. They're thrifted. Channel Manisha from outside. That's her shelf in Akaivo. Now you got to mob. <coughs> and then kuna uyu mingile ame to join that top shelf and those are handbags bags zake ni mostly like the medium sized bags izo kuna kama ii pia ni yake wacha ni wanyeshe sample kuzu uko juicy fiki so kama ii and those are very affordable no na price kama ii 1500 I can a blue, I can a red. Eh, into a kia pejia ke pia po muni ni. Shali atu jandi kinyo pejia ke. Ja kupewa andi ke. Ali tuma. Can go follow, buy from. Yeah, yeah, pia. Yes. So those two, they want me to join. So now these shelves that that two k, the major, the major actually. Only emoji ni kwa pa juu ya mlango. Zatu kia zimeisha hivu. But za dao, ziko bado. On this side. This side ya kona. Za dao. Lakini this side, pia ziko almost full. Ispoko hile ya juu kabisa. And this, hii ya chini kabisa. Hii, na hii ya chini kabisa. Yup. Yup. Guys, as I am editing this video, I just realized that I did not uh, do an outro. And don't mind my hair, just getting ready to go to town. But I didn't do an outro for this video, so an update. Um, actually, the client that was complaining and calling me a scam actually got her parcel. Yeah, because I, I, I got a message from her telling me that she got the parcel. So that's an update. She actually got her parcel. Uh, yeah, and that's the end of this video. Let me know what you think about it. I know it's not so long, but yeah, that's it. That's the end of that video. Let me know what you think about it and which other videos you would like to see me do because I'm trying to be a bit consistent for you guys. Yep. So see you guys in my next video. Bye.